Our parents always said to eat our fruits and vegetables. Unfortunately, it seems many of us did not listen. According to the U.S. Center for Disease Control and Prevention, a new study shows that only one in 10 Americans is eating their daily recommended two cups of fruit and two to three cups of vegetables. However, the Sustainable Food Center is on a mission to change that statistic. Hello and good afternoon, fellow colleagues. My name is Jimena Longoria, and I am an vol active volunteer at the Sustainable Food Center, and I have been volunteering there this semester. And before I start, I would like to establish some ground rules and ask everyone to please silence your cell phones and hold their questions until the end. Today I'll be talking about the Sustainable Food Center and talking about a little bit about the history, programs they offer, and what you can do as a volunteer if you, join, if you decide to join me in the future. So, let's begin. Food is at the heart of everything that the Sustainable Food Center does. The Sustainable Food Center was founded in 1993, and its mission has always been to cultivate a healthy local food system and help people have more access to healthy, affordable food to families of all incomes, not just the wealthy people. And the Sustainable Food Center is able to accomplish their mission through three of their most popular programs, which are the Happy Kitchen, or La Cocina Alegre, the Grow Local, and Farm Direct. I'm going to be talking about these programs, and as I go along, I'll be also telling what kind of volunteer opportunities are available with each program. And if gardening isn't for you, then the cool thing about the Sustainable Food Center is that there are so many options, so we're pretty sure that I'll find a volunteer opportunity for all of my colleagues, so you can join me. Okay, so as seen, as the web, as seen on the website, one of our programs is the Happy Kitchen, or the Cocina Alegre. And this program was named East Austin's Most Best Social Service by the Austin Chronicle. And what it is, it's community cooking classes and nutrition education classes. And a lot of people get together and just like cook healthy food using healthy ingredients and local produce. So if you're someone who likes to cook, share recipes, or have a good time, or all that together at the same time, then I recommend going to the Happy Kitchen. Some volunteer opportunities include helping around, cleaning dishes, or just cutting food, or helping the ladies and men, like getting them utensils and stuff. Another program at the Sustainable Food Center is Grow Local. Grow Local offers introduction to food gardening classes and works on building community gardens around the city and in local schools to promote the importance of eating healthy and educating the kids at a young age about how important it is to be healthy and grow your own produce. And some opportunities with Grow Local are the intro to gardening classes and also going to the schools and stuff. I've had the opportunity to volunteer with Grow Local and I've gone to the intro to gardening classes and I had no previous experience with gardening. And it was still really fun because the people who work there know a lot and they're willing to share some advice and stuff with you. So I was able to learn so many things there and still manage to help the Sustainable Food Center do stuff they needed help on. So if you're someone who likes to get their hands dirty or learn new things, then that's also a really great program for you to volunteer with. And lastly, there's the Farm Direct program. The Farm Direct program works to connect local farmers with the community and the Sustainable Food Center found a way to do this by doing farmers markets and they have four across Austin, one in Sunset Valley, one in East Austin, one in the Triangle and one in downtown. And the volunteer opportunities with the Farm Direct program are you go and you help the farmers like chop their produce so you can help sample it to the shoppers and you can also work at the zero waste kiosks which I've also volunteered with. And when I volunteered there, I was not excited because it said like you have to sort trash into bins. But I got there and it's actually really fun. You, it's not as gross as it seems. And <laughs> you just like tell people like where to put their food and you tell them about the importance of like, they save so much trash and so much bags and they can put the trash to good use when you go to the kiosk. So if you like meeting new people and being in the farmer's market listening to music, then that's a really good volunteer opportunity as well. So I've talked about the volunteer opportunities available, and I'm going to explain to you all how to volunteer. Here are some flyers, and in there you'll find the address to the Sustainable Food Center. So if you want to volunteer, you go there, and it's in one of the volunteer dates, which are listed below, May 7th, June 1st, or July 14th. And once you're at the orientation, they give you a brief like look at what you would be doing as a volunteer. You do a background check, and if you pass your background check, then you're ready to volunteer. And if by any chance you can't go to any of these dates, then they'll be more than happy to schedule a private orientation for you so you can get started working as soon as possible. 
with them. So if you're still asking yourself, why should you volunteer with the SFC? My answer is, why not? It's a super unique organization and it's really fun. As you can see here on the flyer, so many people have donated their time being there because it's a really rewarding experience and you can make a great, great difference in the community by helping others and helping them know that it's like not that bad to eat healthy, it doesn't have to be that expensive. And you can help the organization become better with more work and more hands because they need it and they serve so many people. And you can also help yourself. You learn so many things. Speaking from personal experience, I've learned so many things and I know that there's still so much more to learn. So I whole, wholeheartedly ask you today to consider joining the Sustainable Food Center and using your time there to volunteer and help make a difference in the hospital community. Thank you. Does anybody have any questions?